What up everyone, it's Kirit and Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. So today I am reviewing Terminator Dark Fate. Now I'm going to keep this review pretty short because honestly there's not much I can say about this movie because, not, well not because it was great or anything. It was just mediocre. At first I was really happy with the movie because it looked like it was giving the new protector of um, Danny, I think her name is, actually, yeah. Um, more human-like characteristics because um, she was human, just enhanced and whatnot instead of being a Terminator sent back to protect uh, the new John Connor. That was great. The action started off straight away. It was really entertaining, really great. But it dragged on and it also took away from the whole human aspects of the Grace, that's her name, yeah. When I say that, it's not as if she's hu not human by the end of it, she's more machine or anything. It's that all the human characteristics that she was built up to have, all that human emotion and whatnot, um, being a survivor, being a soldier, and being an everyday person per se, sent back to protect um, Danny, like how um, Kyle Reese was in um, the first Terminator movie. This time, what they did was made her more human, but also try to keep the Terminator aspects of her, of Arnold Schwarzenegger, sorry, and it really ruined her character. Now when I say that, it's not as if her character is completely ruined and terrible, but it makes it harder for me to care about her. Of course, she just tackles human beings like she's a Terminator, like she's a robot. Um, there's a, a few innocent people who were um, at one point um, studying her and whatnot because they, well, she was injured in an accident and they weren't studying her out of um, spite or anything but because it's their job too, they were like healing her and whatnot and then when she wakes up she beats the crap out of two of them which do come to attack her but then bangs one of the doctors or scientists or something head against the wall and there's a mark on the wall like some huge impact just happened there and it's fine if she does it to people who attack her, uh, that I can totally understand but when she does it to everyday people it creates a whole um, iffy area around her character. Speaking about changing characters, Arnold Schwarzenegger's return as the T-800 or whatever model it was is really good because I like how they gave him more human characteristics in the sense that he's not becoming more human but as a robot after serving his purpose, what does he have to do so he just goes about living life? I just don't understand the whole time travel thingy because if Skynet doesn't exist in the future after Judgment Day, so then why is the Terminator still sent back? My phone literally was just about to fall out of my pocket. So if Skynet doesn't exist in the future and Legion does, but then why was this Arnold Schwarzenegger Terminator sent, sent back by Skynet after Judgment Day to kill John Connor, even though Skynet doesn't exist in the future? But if Judgment Day, stopping Judgment Day by Sarah Connor and whatnot is what stops Skynet in the future, why would Skynet still send a Terminator to kill John Connor, but then if they kill John Connor, why would that stop Skynet becoming the future and why would that make Legion the future instead? It doesn't make much sense. I'm just wondering at what point did Skynet stop existing and Legion exist instead? How does John Connor not being around stop Skynet from existing? Um, if it is Judgment Day that Sarah Connor and stuff stopped that caused the Skynet to not exist, why does the T-800 still say that he was from Skynet so with this movie itself, I feel like there's not too much to talk about. I'm really mixed with some things I liked, some things I didn't like. There's so many questions I have raised and not enough answers given. But overall, I'm giving this movie a 5 out of 10 because there are some good moments, some bad moments, and overall, you can get a good moment time out of it if you're just there for the action. So with that all said and done, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below what you thought about Terminator Dark Fate. If you haven't seen it yet, why not? Let me know, and until next time, I'll see us.